I am beautiful. I am worthy. I am fertile. My fertility Hello, goddess. Beautiful fertility goddess and my divine fertility gods. And we're just gonna dive in. We're gonna, you know, hang out. Get your tea, okay? Get your coffee. I have my beautiful Dear Mama Spirit Baby mug here, okay, that I wanted to show off. I never show it off. Uh, hopefully you guys can see it. Let me see if it's seeable. Kinda, I don't wanna spill my tea though. But it says, Dear Mama, keep saying one day because one day will be here before you know it. Love your spirit baby. So this is from my Sip It Into Existence collection. I now have a store linked to my YouTube channel so you can purchase this mug actually on the store, on the channel. <laughs> it is $25.99 plus sales tax and delivery. Um, and it is 11, an 11 ounce mug and shipping seems to be pretty quick with the company that I'm using. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy that mug. And if you wanna sip into existence with me, okay, if you wanna connect with your spirit baby through your morning tea or your morning coffee or your evening tea, okay, um, like I have right now, then join me, okay, join me. So right now it is day two on our spirit baby week. And I've did two. I've done two different posts. Okay, the first one, um, and when I say post, I mean like in our community tab. The first one has been about, um, the first one was about what is a spirit baby and how do you know if you have one. The second one was about my personal experiences, um, and it's my how my spirit babies connect with me and how I initiate contact or connection, as well as how do I know I'm connecting with the spirit baby versus another spirit. So I wanted to elaborate, like as I was like creating those posts, I'm like, oh my gosh, like I have so much to share in these areas and with these questions, and there's no way that I'm gonna fit it into four or five different little posts. <laughs> So I decided to kind of chit chat with you guys. So like I said, get your tea, get your coffee, get your drink, okay, whatever you need, your wine. Mm. Um, and let's chit chat, okay, let's chit chat. Um, first of all, what is a spirit baby? Let's just flip it backwards. A spirit baby is a baby spirit, okay? <laughs> it is a little one's soul. Excuse me, and I'm saying little one because, look, I'm burping already, guys. I'm saying little one because um, it is what well, this is what we see them as, right? When they're born, they're little babies, this, that, and the other. But when I connect with their souls, sometimes they come through as playful, childish, um, you know, friendly. They like to play games. <laughs> I had one spirit baby when I was connecting with um, a goddess on. I think it was TikTok. It was TikTok Live, and. Um, her son kept coming through so playful and he was actually making noises like how I just heard that noise in the living room. He was like moving stuff around and like making noises in my room. And I was like, okay, you have to get your son because he is a jokester. And she was like, oh my gosh, he's like me. <laughs> and so it was so funny, but like sometimes they come through very playful. And sometimes they come through as these massive wise souls. Like I've connected with spirit babies that are coming in. They're telling me like, I'm coming back. You know, I'm being reincarnated. My soul is coming back. I have a lot of knowledge to bring but they come in to me and they like present themselves to me energetically because it's all about a presence. If you, if that makes sense, like um, it's all about a presence. So they'll present themselves to me as this like big, think of like when someone is trying to make the, or like think of a dog, right? When a little dog is trying to make themselves look big, right? They like, they uh, flex, right they bark loud like they try, <laughs> they try to make themselves bigger than what they really are or just seem bigger they want their presence to be known and it's kind of like that with the spirit baby in a sense of like sometimes they come in and they're like you know i have a lot of playfulness i have a lot of joy to bring mama i have a lot of you know it's not like they don't have lessons to teach too and that they have you know they don't have a mission because of course they do but they're just more so like, I'm happy to be here, I'm happy to be here, I'm happy to be here, versus the other soul that comes in and, and it's like, I'm here for a reason, right? And it's very much more, um, con what is it, um, serious, I guess you could say. But I also know that they're, they are a spirit baby, okay? Because they tell me um, telepathically through my thoughts, um, that they are here or through a vision, they show me what they look like. Sometimes, one time I had a baby boy come through and show me 
um, the hermit energy. Like he showed me basically like that he's an old soul. He is coming back and he's, you know, connecting with his mama. But this is this is his energy. And he didn't want me to like sing songs. If you guys were there on the live, because that actually happened on a live on TikTok. And um, like he didn't want me to play, like sing songs and be fun and playful, like baby like. He was like, no, none of that, okay? <laughs> so to sum it up, okay, a spirit baby is a little one's soul or, or a soul or a spirit of a child that is going to come back to earth or is coming to earth, okay? Whether they're reincarnated or they're a new soul um, and they choose who their guide on earth is going to be. It may be their parent. They may be more connected to mom. They may be more connected to dad. Um, I Interesting fact, I learned that my baby girl is more connected to my my. Um, I must have my husband, <laughs> but he's my fiance, um, and my baby boy is more connected to me. And so that was really interesting to me, and I'll, maybe I'll share that story one day with you guys. Um, but sometimes they're connected more to mom or dad. Um, sometimes they come through and they're going to be an adoptive child. They're going to be a foster child. Um, sometimes they're going to be your student and you're going to be their teacher. Um, sometimes you're going to be their grandparent, okay, or their aunt or uncle. So it's really about getting to know. And let me just say one more thing about that because spirit babies are reminding me. Um, I've been, like I said, spending a lot of time in the spirit baby realm recently. And so um, I've been getting, like, getting massive downloads about their connections and their connections with others and the collective. Um, and so basically, um, another spirit baby being is like, one who is it there was a, a goddess who asked a question like something about like can i connect can my spirit baby connect with me more or something like that i can't remember what the question was um but there is this um this message that's coming through from the babies about how you can select or you can call in a spirit baby so sometimes some people are like um trying not necessarily trying to conceive but they're curious or they they're intrigued by the possibility of having an, another child or having a child you can connect with a soul with a spirit and make them your spirit baby or ask them because you can't make them but you can ask them to be your spirit baby right you can welcome in a soul there are so many souls that are looking for a home that are looking for a family um and so you can also welcome in a soul so i wanted to say that because um sometimes it's not that your spirit baby initiates contact with you sometimes it's that you initiate the contact with them the other thing that I want to point out too about spirit baby souls and spirit babies in general um, is that sometimes you have a spirit baby guide that is not going to be born to you. They're meant to guide you through this lifetime um, and through many different energies, okay, and in many different ways. A lot of times it's through new perspectives because if you think about a child and their curiosity, think about that energy and how implementing that energy into your life could help benefit you in many different ways okay so that's pretty much um what my idea and what i've learned through my personal interactions in the spirit baby realm and with spirit babies and with my own spirit babies um about their interactions with us and guidance here on earth um but yeah so those are some of the ways that's what a spirit baby is and those are some of the ways um that they present themselves to me okay um as well as some of the understandings that i have of spirit baby um, spare babies in general now in relation to how they communicate with us okay how they connect to us they typically use our six senses okay to let them to let us know that they are around which of course we have our five which is taste touch um, hearing seeing um, what is the other one you guys are probably yelling it and smell you guys are probably yelling it at me right now and then we have our sixth sense which is our inner knowing right so um, they like to use our six senses or they like to communicate to us through our six senses. And um, I used to have a spirit baby connection session where I would teach goddesses how to connect with their spirit babies on their own. And I might bring that back um, later on as I kind of like slow down a bit and get more into personal sessions. Um, right now, they're very limited. And that one was really big. It was like an over an hour session. Um, and literally like i would tell the goddess like the one of the main things about connecting with your spirit baby is 
knowing how you receive messages from the divine okay so that is for me right and we're going to kind of go into how i connect with spirit babies how i know that they're a spirit baby versus another spirit as well as um how my spirit babies communicate with me um i'm highly clairvoyant i see visions all the time i'm a big dreamer um and i get messages through my dreams not only for me but for others my family my friends and now i'm starting to dream in um in bodies that i have people i don't even know um at one point i thought maybe my dreams were supposed to solve like crimes like no lie because <laughs> i would wake up with like all these different scenarios and then i was like are my dreams supposed to be movies like what because that's what they feel like but literally i'm a huge dreamer so my babies know that about me but at first i had to be aware of that myself i had to know how i receive messages from spirit because that is where i built my trust factor right i trust that the messages that i receive from spirit are the messages yeah the messages that i receive from spirit are actual messages coming from spirit if that makes sense because i know that i am clairvoyant so i know if i get a random vision that comes to comes to me especially if i'm doing a reading for somebody i know to trust that vision i know to speak on that because it may be a premonition right it may be something that is symbolic um and the same thing with my dreams they may be symbolic or they may be premonitions so my babies know that seeing or the sight energy, um, our sense is one of the strongest senses of mine. And I have others like their audience. I also smell like one time my baby was around me and they put like baby powder scent by my nose and I kept smelling it over and over and over again. And I was like, what is that smell? And then once I acknowledged that it was my spirit baby, the scent went away. And it was like they were like throwing that scent in front of me to like tell me like, hey mama, I'm right here. Um, now that's how my babies interact with me or how they initiate contact most of the time. I also have in, have had um, interactions with them through meditations and spirit baby visualizations. Now these meditations and spirit baby visualizations have been initiated by me, obviously, right? So this is one of the ways that I initiated contact with my baby um, or wanted to communicate with my babies. And I don't want this to be, section to be too long, so I won't go too far, far into it, but basically um i initiated contact by going to them okay going to the spirit baby realm spending time with them if you have um purchased my spirit baby visualization okay meditation then you probably have had the same experience where you i guided you into the spirit baby realm and in the spirit baby realm you were able to connect with your little one through objects um and through um imagery and that's exactly how I initiated contact with my baby. That's exactly how I actually went in and I sat with them and they um, ran up and gave me, I don't want to say ran up. <laughs> they appeared beside me, like I said, like a pop in, excuse me. And um, they gave me a big hug, one on each side of me. And it was such a beautiful experience. They then showed me certain objects um, and things, animals that they used to communicate with me and it was like a telepathic communication um system that we were we had go we had going on um my baby boy sent the most massive amount of love i've ever felt in my entire life directly into my heart chakra to the point and it was like to the point where after i came out of the meditation or the visualization i like was crying like it truly cleansed my heart chakra and um i was like oh my gosh i cannot wait to give him a big hug <laughs> it was the most love i felt in a very like long time actually the only time i felt that type of love in spirit okay um and so it was just it was phenomenal it was a feeling that i never ever would have thought that i could experience in the spirit world so that's how I initiated conversation um, with my babies or initiated connection with my babies, okay? And I want to like elaborate on that a bit, like the signs that they showed me, um, my baby boy during that experience showed me um, a, rhinoc a rhinoceros as well as a dinosaur, a green dinosaur. <laughs> um, and my baby girl showed me a hummingbird and also a little like red bird. Okay. It was like a little red, like a little red robin or a little red bird. Um, and so now I know when I see those signs, who they're from, who's connecting with me, right? Um, I keep that dear to my heart and I know that you know that that's my baby and whenever i get those messages or i see those signs because babies i feel like 
for at least for my spirit babies, they like to show up through surprises. So they like to show, like the universe, right? The universe loves to give us surprises and we are, we better be excited, right? Because if we're not excited for those surprises, then the universe is not going to give us anymore, <laughs> right? We better show gratitude for what it is that we get. And the same thing with the spirit baby connection, okay? Like it's the same thing. They love to be playful. They love to act like children. You know, think of a child playing peekaboo, like peekaboo, peekaboo, right? Are hiding something for you. I can't wait till you get home to show you what they made for you at school. It's like that same energy that I have with my with my um, spirit babies. And so um, they show me these dinosaurs and these birdies randomly in different times are at different times. And when they pop in, most of the time, it's when I need it the most. It's like when I am contemplating on making some sort of decision or um, it's when I am feeling down and starting to be doubtful. Um, or I'm in the middle of being doubtful and I'm not taking care of myself or I've completely pushed my TTC journey on the back burner and I'm, I'm focusing on something else. It's like they pop up and they get deliver these signs and through a reading that I'm doing for someone else or in the middle of the store, there's like a basket with dinosaurs on it. Um, <laughs> if I have that picture, I'll put it in here. But um, literally, like they show me these signs and I'm like, hi. You know, and I that is a little reminder to check in with my intuition and to connect with them if I haven't in a while. Okay, now I'm gonna just this last little part. I'm gonna talk about um, how I know that I'm connecting with the spirit baby versus a regular spirit. Now I have a very special special system that I did not share on the post because, like I said, there was so much that I really wanted to put, but I didn't have the space for. Um, I did, and this system was something that was delivered to me as I continue to to connect with the spirit. The system just developed, okay. Um, and I have connected with loved ones that have passed. I've connected with ancestors that this you know the person never met. I have connected with spirit babies. I have connected with. Um, let me see, is there anything? That's pretty much it. Like loved ones that have passed, angels of course, but like in relation to this system that's developed. I, so I have this system where um, masculine and feminine energy stand on specific sides of me. That is something that happens that just kind of developed, okay? And everyone's system is gonna be different. Um, and it's all about how you feel too. So I don't try to rely too much on this system or creating a system, if you will. And that's not something that I suggest just because you make it too rigid in the system. And then if there's a different message coming through in a different way, you're so rigid and structured that you don't have that fluidity of like trusting your intuition about what the message is. But um, basically, I have masculine and feminine energy that stand on both on different sides of me. And every time that I have like had this happen very clearly, where it was very clear to me, it has been correct. Um, one time I connected with the goddesses. Um, I was doing a reading for a goddess and I connected with her uncle. And the energy of her uncle felt very um, masculinity. He was standing on a specific side. Um, and he was very like... Um, adamant, very persistent, very wanting to get this message across. Um, and the ener his energy felt very grounded. Grounded and masculine is the best way that I could describe this spirit energy. He also presented himself in like a position where it wasn't very close to me, but it was almost like a waiting room. And when I welcomed in this energy because I felt it was safe, I always call in my archangels and my, my angels and my ancestors to protect me when I felt his energy and I felt like it was safe, even though there was some kind of like something going on, I didn't know what it was, but it was because I felt like he, once I got to con connect with him and communicate to with him, I felt like he had been trying to get this message to his niece for a very long time. And so he was just very persistent is what the energy was. Oh, I just got the chills again. Um, ooh, chills in my whole body. And so with that, he felt his energy felt very persistent, very like, I need to get this message across. And I was literally like typing at, with my thumbs, like fast, just typing as the messages were coming in because he was just delivering them so quickly. Um, and there were so many confirmations that this was indeed her uncle. He showed me like a necklace that he had given her. He showed me all different types of things. He told me about um, a little bit about his passing, a little bit about what was going on and how he he didn't, you know, um, he had some regrets. and. Um, 
just just things, right? And it was like, I was like, oh my gosh, this is crazy, right? Um, but his energy felt completely different than when I connect with my spirit babies. My spirit babies come in and like I said, they pop in. So it's not necessarily like a waiting room <laughs> feeling. I don't have to say, come on over. I don't have to welcome them in like that. I have this energy that just pops up and they're like, hey, you know, you're connecting with my mom. Or hey, I'm here as a spirit baby guy to deliver this message to who you're connecting with. Um, Sometimes they come through in regular messages, regular readings, and it's not necessarily like they're trying to connect with their child, but they're looking for guidance and advice. And a spirit baby guide comes in and they're like, hey, I have the, I have the messages. And they just pop in, okay? I just heard like, I love Jeannie. Is it, what, is it called I love Jeannie? What is I love Jeannie? Is that the little, uh, like, uh, is that what it's called? I don't even know. Is that, I think it's a show. <laughs> I think it's a show, but it's like, like a genie, right? Like that just pops out of the little lantern or whatever. So um, also their energy is a lot more levitation, levitational, I guess you could say. It feels very light. It feels very like, um, like they're right at my shoulder level when I'm speaking to them or they're speaking to me or they're right at my ear versus another energy which feels very grounded, like they're connected to the floor or to the ground, if that makes sense, okay? Now, the other thing that has happened um, or that has like developed within the system, it's like spirit babies come almost like right in front of me. They're like right in front of me on whichever the left or the right side, depending on their gender or the energy that they carry. Um, those who are uh, loved ones who are, who are past, um, they show up behind me, okay, on whichever side that is. Now, the older they are, they go further back. And I do, <laughs> I realized that when I had a grandmother or great grandmother in the back of the room, literally like in the energy of by the wall, by the, in the back of my room, and then I had a younger relative closer to me and basically in the waiting room space, waiting for me to welcome them in. That's just a personal experience that I've had when connecting with different energies, different spirits, based on their age, based on their, it's pretty much what it is. It's like, it's almost like they're letting me know, like I, they don't know me, right? Like I'm an ancestor. They've, I try to connect with them, but, or I do connect with them and they're familiar with me in that way, but physically we did not meet, right? And they'll be way back until I welcome them to me and they deliver the messages to me up close. Um, when they're a loved one and they were, you know, not that um, that old, they were a teen, a young adult, then they're not that far back behind me. When they're older, like 50s, 60s, 70s, um, then they're a little further back. When they're 80s, 90s, and then beyond, they're further back behind that, right? I hope that makes sense. And so that's something that I wanted to share with you guys because I, I never really shared it before. But hopefully it helps somebody, okay? <laughs> oh my gosh, this read this is so long. <laughs> this is so long. I might actually have to post this as a separate video because I think this is gonna be about 30 minutes on its own. Um, so I might just have to post this as a separate video, but I don't know, I'll see. I want to dive into the spirit baby messages now. I wanted to connect with at least three to four little ones, okay? But I might connect with less. It just depends. Spirit is telling me three. So I am saying three different babies. So we're gonna we're gonna get into that now. Let me know down below in the comment section if any of this confirmed things for you. If you've had any experiences like this, um, if you want to learn more about spirit baby connection and about my experiences. Um, I hope that made sense about how I can tell the difference between um, a spirit baby versus a um, an older soul or a spirit that has um, that is coming in as a like with a message, but is not in preparation to return. If that makes sense, um, I hope that made sense. Okay, I hope that made sense. Um, also, something that I mentioned in the post on the community tab is that um, it's all about presence. It's all about, like I said, the babies, spare babies kind of pop in. They kind of feel like they're floating. Um, they also show me creative visuals. Um, they love to communicate with colors. Um, actually, sometimes I see orbs as spirit babies. Sometimes they actually show me them as children, like when they're like three or four years old and they communicate to me in that way. Um, and that's how I visually see that this is a spirit baby or a spirit child. Um, the older 
um, loved ones, so care of the ancestors, they also show me themselves visually sometimes. Um, but if not, they just seem like a more grounded energy. They don't have that playful, bouncy energy like the baby does okay so hopefully that makes sense to thank you guys for chit chatting with me too let me know if you like these little chit chat sessions um it definitely was a lot longer than i expected but i am happy to share my knowledge with you guys um if you guys want to learn more definitely join my spirit baby connection circle i'm actually thinking about making some sort of course or just putting you know what i've learned my experiences into like um some sort of learning system so that those who are interested in developing their intuitive gifts and um, becoming spirit baby mediums or basically trusting that what they are receiving is from the spirit babies, okay? I'm thinking about developing something that actually will help you, a tool of some sort. So if you have an idea of a tool you would like to use to help you, okay, develop your spirit baby connection, develop your intuitive, de you know, intuitive development, um, let me know down below. I've been thinking about maybe it should be a workshop or maybe it should be a 15 day challenge like I did with the mindfulness challenge. Um, maybe it should be a tool such as an Oracle deck, okay, with different types of knowledge on it. Uh, maybe it should be a course of some sort, like a self-paced course, okay? Um, but let me know what you guys think, okay, what kind of tool you would like to use to learn.